You can easily transfer files from one Google Drive account to another without having to download any files or having to re-upload them. You can transfer files that you're the owner of, and you can also transfer files that have been shared with you. Now, the process is a bit different depending on whether or not you're the owner, but I'm going to show you both methods. So without further ado, let's move on over to Google Drive. Okay, so here we are in Google Drive, and you can see that it's a little bit of a mess in here, but I've left it that way on purpose to give you a realistic example of what this would look like. Now, as we transfer our files, we're going to focus on two sections. We're going to focus on the My Drive section, which is where we are right now, and these are all documents that we own, we have ownership of, and it's a little bit of an easier process to transfer them. But we're also going to look at files that have been shared with you, so files that you have access to, but that you're not the owner of. There's a little bit of a different process we need to do when transferring those files. So let's start with my drive. So in my drive, we essentially need to give all of these files a new owner. And the easiest way to do that is to put them all in one folder. So we could just go up here to new and click on new folder. And we'll call this owned files to transfer. So you can see we now have a, a file here in my drive. So I'm just going to click on one folder. And then I'm just going to scroll to the bottom. There are a number of different ways to do this. You can use keyboard shortcuts. So control A or command A, you can do what I'm doing, click at the top and then hold shift and click at the bottom, you essentially want to select all the files and you can do it in multiple batches, you don't have to do it all at once. But we're just going to click as many as we can to select them, we're going to drag them to own files to transfer. And like I said, if you have a lot of files, you might have to do that a couple times until you get all of them in there. But you essentially want all of your files in one folder, you're transferring them to a new account anyways, it'll make it easier in the new account to access all of the files from your old account in one folder. And then maybe you can start a new folder for files that you're creating with the new account. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to right click on this folder. And we're going to go to the share option. We're going to click on share right here. And you'll notice that right now, I'm really the only person that has access. So we're going to add another person and you can see the email address is already in here, but we could type it in if we needed to. We're going to share it with this person and we're going to make them right now an editor. So let's go ahead and we'll send that invitation. So now this folder has been shared with that other account and we're going to go ahead and we're now going to change the ownership. So we're going to right click again going to go to share, we're going to click on share again. You'll notice that right now it says I'm the owner. But if we click on this drop down next to the person that we shared it with, we now have an option to transfer ownership. So we can go ahead and click on transfer ownership. And then it lets us know that we will still be the owner until the other person accepts. So we can go ahead and send this invitation and the other person can then accept it. And once they accept ownership, and we'll be able to come in here and check in the permissions, it won't say pending owner anymore, these will be flipped, the new account will be the owner, and you will be the editor, you could then go in on the new account, and you could click on the drop down here in permissions, and you could remove access from the old account. And once you do that, you've essentially transferred all of the files, the old account will no longer have access and the new account is the owner. So that's it. That's all you have to do. Now you do have to go in and accept it. So you'll get an email notification and notification here in Google Drive on the new account to accept the new ownership, uh, which is kind of a nice feature because you could just get spammed files all the time, right? Um, so you need to go and accept it, but then you're done. Okay, and then you can remove the permissions from the old account. Now, what do we do with files and folders that have been shared with you? Well, there are a couple of different options. So first of all, let's go over here to the shared with me section. Now, the problem with these files is that you aren't the owner. And so there are kind of some things built in so that you can't change who the owner is because you're not currently the owner, right? But we do have some options. One option is to simply make a copy of these files and folders. So you can right click, and you can make a copy. And in the new copy, which isn't going to show up here, because this is shared with me. But if we go to my drive, you'll see we now have this copied file. Now we're the owner of that file. So we could then share it with the new account and basically do the same thing we just did, make them the editor, then go in and make them the owner. And then you can accept the ownership and then revoke access to the old account. Now, you could do that at the same time that you did all of the my drive files, just to make it a little bit quicker, you could go into shared with me, and you can make a copy of all your files in here. Now the problem with this method is that if you're selecting all and you have folders, so if I select this file, and then I hold shift and select the AnsonAlex.com logos folder at the same time, when I right click, you'll notice that I don't have the option to make a copy. So you do actually have to go into each folder individually, and you have to select all the files and change ownership or make a copy in that way. But there is another option. 
Now, because you can't select folders and files at the same time and make a copy of them, another method is to actually select all of the files and folders in your shared with me section. So you can do that using the shift method, control A, command A, that sort of thing. And then you're going to right click. And again, we don't have the make a copy option, right? But we do have the share option. So we can go in here and we can share it with the new account. Okay, so we're going to share everything in the shared with me folder with the new account. And we're going to give them edit permissions. Then we're going to go into the new account. And I don't need to because this is, will essentially be the same thing. We're going to go into the new account. We're going to go to shared with me and we'll see the files and folders that have been shared with us. Now, if the original account doesn't have access to share them, then you're going to have a bit of an issue there. You're going to have to use the copy and paste copy each file method. However, if you can share them, share them with the new account, go into the new account, go to shared with me. Here we are right now. And now you're going to select all the files the same ways that we have been the whole time. And now on the second account, you're going to use copy and paste to get a new version of all the folders and files so that you have access. So you're going to go into each folder, and then you're going to select all of the files. And then you're going to use keyboard shortcuts. So on Windows Control C or Mac Command C, and you're going to copy all of those files, you can see as, as it's been copied to the clipboard, and then Command V or Control V to paste them. And you'll notice that we now have a copy of those files. Uh, so that was a little bit of a quicker method of copying and pasting the files. So now we could take these files that we are now the owner of, and we could move them to, you know, say our folder that we created, so we could move them to this shared files to transfer folder, we can pretend that's the, the folder on the new account. So we'll move them over. And now we've also moved those files as well. So again, that is a little bit of a quicker option if you aren't the owner. But if you have files in my drive, you're just going to select all of them. And then you're going to give the second account edit permissions, then you're going to go back into the permissions and give them ownership permissions. And once they accept that you can remove the original account. And for files that have been shared with you, you're going to go into the shared with me section, you're going to select all of the files and folders, you're going to right click, you're going to share them with the new account, add the email address as an editor, then you're going to go into the new account, and you're going to go into the shared with me section. And you're going to select all of the files, you do have to do files, you can't do folders at once. So if I select this folder, and then I do Command C and Command V, you'll notice that it says folders cannot be copied. So we do have to go into the folder. And then we'll do Command A or Control A to select all Command C or Control C to copy all and Command V or Control V to paste them all. And then once we have the new ones pasted, we will move them over into my drive. We can so I hope that you now know how to transfer files between Google Drive accounts without having to download them and re-upload them. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials like this one, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.